Hi everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on this beautiful Monday. This is Deborah, and I'm so happy you're here to see what's new. In today's video, we'll be decorating two areas of my home, one of which was a problem area for sure, and you'll see how I turned a challenge into an asset in my kitchen. So let's get started. First, we're going to take a look back at the breakfast nook as it was decorated in the fall. I used mostly neutrals with just a few touches of autumn colors and I really enjoyed that. And this year, I've been decorating for Christmas in a neutral palette which I'm absolutely loving. However, I wanted to add color to the breakfast nook and kitchen area and I'm really glad that I did and we'll have a look at that in a moment. Okay guys, here I'm going to show you a few things that I drew inspiration from to begin the decorating process with. First is this metal chair wall plaque that I picked up over the weekend and I absolutely love it because it can be used at Christmas and Valentine's Day or even out in the garden. And I love them so much I picked up two. Now here comes the color. I decided to use some of my red and cream 12 curtain panels and I just love them. They were purchased from Amazon a couple of years ago and I know they still have them. Now I know when some of you see these you're probably going to go what? But when I saw these cute salad plates at Walmart they instantly caught my eye and made me smile and I knew exactly how I was going to use them. I only purchased the two because it's just my husband and I and besides that I do have cows in my art there in the breakfast nook so it goes really well with that. So do you want to see how all this came together? Well, let's have a look so you can see how the breakfast nook was transformed with color, texture, and candlelight without being overdone. I kept the place setting simple, and the placemats are from the Dollar Tree this year. The chargers are from an antique store that I've had for several years. The brown dinner plates from Walmart. The red twill napkins are actually dish towels from Home Goods a few years ago, and I used those to tie in with the twill curtains hanging on the window. And of course, the cow salad plate is from Walmart. I rearranged my blooming lamp to give it texture and interest without really adding more color simply by adding the twig wreath which was thrifted and then some greenery and pine cones and that's it. There's a special star shining For the centerpiece, if you will, I again kept it simple by using a garland from my Texas house from Walmart, a topiary in the center, and six candle holders for ambiance. Here's how I used the cherub plaque that I showed you earlier. I used a wreath that I've had for several years and added some beautiful plaid ribbon to tie in with the plaid placemats and some gold sheer ribbon to complement it. And then I place a cherub in the center as a focal point. Joyful Christmas news. Hope will find its way to you. Hope will find its way to you.
Okay, friends, now we're going to tackle a problem area of the kitchen. This is over by the stove area, and can you guess what's behind door number one? Well, it's where the hot water heater is located. I don't like it, but you know, I'm always up for a decorating challenge, and here's what I did to fix that situation. The only thing that I did somewhat like about the door was that it has the louvered panel on it which makes it easy to hang things on. So the first thing I did was hang curtains all the way up to the ceiling and this door doesn't get open very often so hanging the curtains isn't a problem because air can still circulate through the louvered door. Next I needed a little more storage and surface area so I placed this thrifted low boy chest in front of it and it fits perfectly it solves two problems it offers storage and it's a beautiful area to decorate okay here's how it's looking so far and i love how it looks and at the top of the curtain rod i just added a small piece of pine garland and i used some of that same red plaid ribbon and gold sheer ribbon to make a bow to tie it all into the breakfast nook as well as hanging the blue and white plate at the top of the door, which continues that look as well. This kitchen is so dark and I try and add more lighting in wherever I can. So I found this sweet lamp at Goodwill for $8 and it fits perfectly here on the low boy, as well as adding some much needed light. So here's how the area looks all decorated for Christmas and because this area is dark I hung a thrifted mirror on the door to reflect the light and adorned it with a little bit of pine garland and the same ribbons I used everywhere else. And because I wanted to inject a little bit more plaid over on this side of the room I simply used one of the Dollar Tree plaid placemats and I also tied some of the same ribbons on my topiary that you see on the right. Listening to this song playing on. All right, my sweet friends, that'll do it for today's video, and I hope you all enjoyed it and found it inspiring in some way. Thank you for spending time with me. You know I appreciate that so much. You all take care, and I wish you and your families a very blessed and Merry Christmas. Until next time, bye-bye, my lovelies.